Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. WrestleMania, that's right, we have the official leaked match card confirmed right now. You heard it first on the WHF channel. And if you are curious, like, what credibility does this guy have? What is this man telling me that these matches are supposed to happen? Now, if you guys go back to last year, this is just doing a little playback, but the match card that ended up leaking and the one that we ended up presenting was actually about 97% accurate. So take this with a grain of salt. Starting out with the first match, and I'm not going to call this the opener because this could very well lead to the actual main event. It's going to be Roman Reigns versus Edge. We're going to have Paul Heyman right there alongside at ringside and Christian. Well, if you guys saw the Royal Rumble, you know how much of an impact this man still has right behind Edge. Now, I know you're going to be like, Hero Fix, what happened between him and Randy Orton? Are they going to end up sealing the... No, 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 no. We'll get into Randy Orton in just a sec. Right now, my main focus is determining who the challenger is going to be competing because, yes, I know he's showing up on NXT and I'm sure we'll also see him on Friday Night SmackDown, but when it all boils down to... This is where it's going to evolve to. It's going to be the spear versus the spear. The legend versus the future. Roman Reigns. And if, oh, here's another thing too, man. Like Edge, I know a lot of people are doubtful. Like, why are we having a part-timer coming in here? But then again, we're seeing it in AEW with Stinger. Only difference is that that storyline is being played out different. For me, I'm actually behind this. And drop a like if this is ideal. Or just give me a thought right now if you would like to see something different as opposed from this. Because the way that I'm seeing is that right now, WWE is still trying to determine the face of the future, right? Like who's going to represent the company as a whole? Is it going to be Roman Reigns? I know we got some other characters in line, such as Seth Rollins, and we'll discuss more once we get further into the card, but this is one thing that I definitely want to play out. If this match ends up happening, right? Christian being right there, Edge having that big moment at WrestleMania. They've had a couple in their own history, but having it alongside with the big dog, hey, I'm all in. Getting into this next match, The Fiend versus Randy. Andy Orton. This could be very similar to how we saw last year with John Cena, where they had the whole theatrical play out. It's not going to be like an actual match. It'll most likely be playing out the history of Randy Orton, what he has done in the last decade, and also a transition point. Not just for Randy Orton, but also for Alexa Bliss. Now, there is speculation that, you know, she's under a trance and she might want to, she's trying to snap out of it, but the power of the Fiend is just too strong. I think that's kind of playing out right here with Randy Orton. I think the whole like dark side of the fiend like the matches right the man setting him on a fire and the return it's it's inevitable she keeps teasing it it's gonna happen and it's gonna be at wrestlemania versus randy orton to kind of go ahead and do the transition of whether he's gonna continue to be the man that he's been or just joining the dark force kind of evolving into like a i don't know what would you guys say maybe like a faction this is just an idea but this is definitely gonna go down intercontinental championship it is gonna be defended in a fatal five and this actually ends up my developing more characters that could turn easily into a six man or an eight man and i don't actually just see this being as a fatal five i think the latter it's going to be incorporated these guys all of them i mean it doesn't matter if it's big e kevin owens sammy Zayn, or daniel bryan seth rollins you already know the man i mean the guy he knows exactly what to do with that tool and this is a great chance for really for them to go ahead and show all of their attributes so you know the action would be non-stop man it would be from beginning to end and it would be clear Clearly, easily a 35 to 40 minute match, me even getting close to an hour. And if you were to go ahead and choose, who would be the best like guy to come out here as the winner, right? So we right now we got Big E as champ, but Daniel Bryan, I think the most popular vote, at least you know what I saw within the Figgy community, is that they wanted to see Bryan walk out as the Rumble. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, and Rollins making a return too. I think it's time right here. Apart from the big dog doing what he's been doing on SmackDown, I think it's also time for Rollins to step up that game. As far as Kevin Owens, it looks like he's kind of falling back right there in the mid card, but this is going to be one of those matches that's really going to signify. The the future, at least for SmackDown, for all five of these gentlemen. For the Raw Women's Championship, we're going to see the return of Ronda Rousey. And I know you're going to be like, well, what about Charlotte, man? Like, it doesn't feel like WrestleMania if Charlotte is not part of it. The direction that I've seen her going on, like, with her and her dad and everything and, you know, the whole freaking style, man. It's like Attitude Era all over again. I think this will, this match hasn't been confirmed, but I'm pretty sure there'll be some kind of stipulation with them in the Nature Board. But getting back to Asuka, 
Yes, Rowdy, she wants to come back. Yes, that finger, it might have gotten injured during the off time, but she's healthy, she's good to go. Asuka, she's always been ready, so you know this match, it's only to get turned up from beginning to end. SmackDown Tag Team Gold up next, we're going to have the Street Profits versus Rey Mysterio and Dominic in a very good year, really for both tag teams. I mean, Dominic, there was so much skepticism behind it of how he was going to come out to be into the, you know, into the whole sport, into the industry that his dad carried through all these years and as far as street profits i can't really say this very often but i'm going to go ahead and say this right now this is one of those nxt call-ups that has really benefited from the whole transition and really i mean you say that about any other guy and see this is what happens when you say that <laughs> they end up getting knocked out knocked over so will wrestlemania be their moment will this continue will the trend in 2021 continue right here for the street profits well that will be determined of whether or not ray ray wants to continue holding the weight or or pass it on to the young talent. Raw Tag Team titles hurt business coming up against the New Day. And I know they're kind of creeping back there. But don't for a second doubt the Undisputed Era. They've always managed to do well. Really when they've been called up to Raw. Or any time that they needed you know, superstars to transition it from show to show. To kind of help out the ratings. So I do think that they definitely hold a big key as to what's going to end up happening within this. Now hurt business too. They have been a very good heel faction. And even though they have a numbers game they rarely ever utilize them to their advantage as far as the new day well i don't think we have to discuss much besides the fact that they've been ruling this whole tag team division for the last five years smackdown women's title right here sasha banks versus are we going to go ahead and consider this as an actual honorable contender look she won the rumble we're going to give her that and she definitely deserves it there isn't a doubt in my mind that her spot right now this is exactly where she needs to be only question is is that if you do go back on the playback those feet, both of those feet actually ended up touching the ground. And I don't know if the cameraman ended up missing out or the referee was distracted or if there's going to be any kind of dispute behind it. If there is, I'm sure that it'll eventually turn into a triple threat. But as of right now, we have Sasha Banks going up here against Bianca Belair. WWE champion Drew McIntyre defending it versus John Cena. And I know it doesn't make sense. And look, I get it. Like any match, actually, any opponent within the last year for Drew, none of them really have made sense. Like a paper you rolls around and they have to quickly put something together at least this is how it's felt for me he's never really had some kind of storyline really with anybody within the roster and it needs to start to developing into that if this man ends up retaining the title now one story you could do and i'm just going to go back way back this is like before drew mcintyre had left wwe now you guys recall in the beginning drew mcintyre he was seen as the future he was going to be the guy that was going to and this is just from vince mcmahon's personal perspective the owner the man that's in charge of really writing every script, every note, everything that comes out of these men's mouths, that's where it's coming from. And John Cena, he was right there. He kind of saw it. And again, this is going back about 10 years when he was not Drew McIntyre, when he was not the Scottish psychopath that he is now. This is the younger version. He saw him as a threat. He's like, uh-uh, we're going to bury you right back down to the ground. And maybe he held the grudge. And I'm just throwing this out to develop a story between now and WrestleMania for this to have some kind of buildup. Because as of right now, this being presented to me again i'm just standing here trying to figure out like this guy could have gotten a chance that guy could have gotten a chance but this is where we're at right now and i ain't gonna turn it down john cena we always need this guy to make returns periodically to kind of bring back the interest that has been lost because the guy that carried the company the last 10 years he did it in a way that really nobody else has and drew mcintyre man still has a lot to learn but give me your thoughts go in the comments let me know what matches you guys are looking forward to what would you guys like to see as opposed to what we're seeing right right now now the card is subjected to change keep that in mind because really anytime that wwe presents a match if the wwe universe comes back and says what are you guys doing they ended up changing and that's really anything that could be changed right now in wrestlemania i want to thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one you sure will buddy boy oh no attitude adjustment <laughs>